Leibniz estava convencido de que o 1 e o 0 eram os únicos números de que as pessoas realmente precisavam. Com esses dois números, segundo ele, era possível alcançar qualquer sonho matemático e, além disso, eliminar a possibilidade de erro humano. Então, ele se livrou dos outros números e elaborou um sistema que utiliza apenas uns e zeros. É o chamado sistema binário. Wait a minute. How could you possibly express all numbers just with a, a one and a zero? I think it's time I spoke to someone who knows what he's talking about. Marcos! I need to understand the binary system. Binary. Okay, let me give you a number in binary. Okay. Here is the number nine written in binary. So this is just using ones and zeros. Ones to and zeros. Any number. It's just zeros and ones. So that's nine in binary. Well, it looks like a thousand and one to me. That's because you're obsessed with your ten fingers and you like to keep track of things in tens. Well, this one keeps track of how many ones, the second column of how many tens there are, next how many hundreds, and one lot of a thousand. But in binary, things work rather differently. In binary, what the columns keep track of is how many ones, how many twos, how many fours, and how many eights there are. Here we have an egg. We're only allowed to represent these um, numbers using zeros and ones. Yeah. Okay, so, so we're only allowed either to put an egg in or not have an egg. An egg in is one. An egg represents one. So let me show you what nine is in binary. One lot of eight, so I have an egg in the fourth column. It's a one. Yeah, that's one lot of eight in the fourth column. And nine is eight plus one, so I need a one in the ones column. So in binary, the number nine is one lot of eight, no fours, no twos, and one one. Incrível. Mas e os outros números? Bom, após apenas três horas de aprendizado, eu percebi que era possível, afinal de contas, chegar a qualquer número usando apenas uns e não uns. Além do mais, eu me convenci de que não é preciso fazer tudo isso com ovos. It's a sort of mechanical system. It's very mechanical to add the ones and zeros, and that's why it's perfect for a machine. And a machine doesn't really care too much about how big the numbers get. It, it can keep track of very long numbers, whilst we're not very good at doing that. What it's interested in is a very efficient way of adding numbers. That's why machines love to put numbers into binary. E Leibniz projetou exatamente essa máquina de binário. Mas ela usava bolas de metais que caíam em buracos em vez de ovos em xícaras. De agora em diante, erros seriam uma coisa do passado. E a era digital parecia estar pronta para assolar o planeta. Infelizmente, ele nunca construiu a máquina. zero teriam de esperar mais 265 anos para voltar a ser o foco das atenções. Sul da Inglaterra, 1944. Meet Colossus, the world's first working binary computer. It's Leibniz's dream made real. But instead of dropping metal balls into slots, Colossus is electronic. In here, One and zero, something and nothing, have finally come into their element as electrical currents, on and off. O Colossus foi criado durante a Segunda Guerra Mundial e instalado no Centro de Decodificação Britânico em Bletchley Park. Tem 1.200 válvulas, quilômetros de fios e centenas de componentes mecânicos. Mas exatamente como todos os computadores de hoje, o coração desta máquina são uns e zeros. Em seu formato binário eletrônico, o zero e o um realizavam milhões de cálculos rapidíssimos, o suficiente para decifrar os códigos inimigos antes que os alemães tivessem apontado seus lápis. Thanks to Colossus, the Allies knew what the German messengers said even before Hitler did. And it may be that this extraordinary contraption helped shorten the war by as much as two years.
A tecnologia que surgiu em Bletchley mudou o nosso mundo para sempre. Well, I thought I was rather good, didn't you? I thought you were mad. I wish they kept my astronomy. Just terrible. Anyone?